Hey everybody, this is Cat Nigel 2448 again, and I got some more games to show y'all. Well, that's a lot of games this time. But I'm gonna do two games right here at first. Dead Space 1, Dead Space 2. Both of these games are good. Both of these games can freak you the hell out. Both of these games can scare you if you play them in the dark. You gotta play these games in the dark, no lights on, on the scare, because these enemies. The, the, the enemies in the game, uh, the uh, people in the game, they come out, jump out in front of you when you least expect it and freak the hell out of you. Sometimes they come out with 30 to 40 enemies on, de on Death Space 2. But this one, you get, like if you get like maybe six, maybe 10 people on, all, all in the game at once. But the, both of these games are good. I give both of these games a 10 out of 10. Great games, good graphics, and everything. It's worth the money. This game's worth 60 bucks. This game's worth 20. They both they both good games. I recommend these games. If you like scary scary games, Resident Evil, Silent Hill, any kind of game that's scary, and you like a good horror movie, a good horror game, these games are for you. These games are good. Um, we got Bandetta. If you like um Devil May Cry games, you'll love this game. But it's a woman. And she's badass, she has guns and a sword. She's awesome. Recommend you you got you gotta get this game, it's good. Probably get this game for like 20 bucks and it's inframature and everything. Dead Space was inframature too, both of them. So and this game's immature. This game's really good. Um good action game. And Sega makes that one, if you didn't notice already. And this game is good. Kane Lynch 2 Dog Days. Kind of disappointed in this game. It really wasn't the best game in the world. I didn't really care much for it. Besides going around the bank heist and everything, that was awesome. Um, Kane Lynch 1 was the best one. I liked Kane Lynch 1, but this one I didn't care much for. But you can get it for about 20 bucks. Brand new or used. I don't really know. But it's, it's a good game and all, but it ain't, it ain't like Kane and Lynch 1. Phototype, great game, ripping people in half, changing changing into people, and everything like that. This game is really good. Um, I like that you can get it for I get it for about thirty to twenty bucks now too. Really good game. Violence, it's a good game. I always have I like to have more um, immature games than I do anything else, but this game is good. Recommend it if you like a like a violent game. Um, there's really no replay value in the game because once you get all your upgrades, you can't carry them over or nothing. But yeah, it's a good game just for an hour or two to just play around with. It's a good game. Saboteur. Great game. It's kind of like Grand Theft Auto in a way, but you're just like a guy that gets paid to do jobs and, and everything. It's a good game. It's kind of like Grand Theft Auto because it's free room. You can free room the world and everything. But at, like so when you start the game, everything's black and white. But as you proceed in the game and, and do missions and do stuff for people, the world starts lit up lit up with color and yeah, it makes it cooler that way and and if you got the code in the box, you can uh it, the girls you see in the game will be nude. So I guess that's a good price of mission if you want to see nude girls or whatever. So yeah, this game is good too. Recommend it. You can probably get it for about twenty, thirty dollars now. So we'll pick this one up, the Saboteur. Um, Borderlands. It's a good game. Uh, it's kind of like Fallout 3, kind of in a way, but this game is way better than Fallout 3 or New Vegas. Both. This game is way better, in my opinion. People might not like to say this game sucks, but yeah, this game is awesome. I like it. You can upgrade your character and you get better weapons and all that stuff. I think it's over like 5,000 some weapons in the game. People say so. It's a lot of guns in this game, and as you level up, you gotta have a different kind of gun for your level. Like, if you're like a level 50 and you got a level one gun, it ain't gonna help you none because your level 40 enemies are way harder as you level up. So as you level up, enemies level up and they get harder. Just keep that in mind. And well, that's Borderlands and it's earned from a chore. Well, this is Cotton Eye Joe 2448, and uh. I'm out, and I'll do some more game reviews later on. All right. Have a nice night.